An important lesson I learned about delivering stories is that you should relive the story, don't retell it. And a key aspect of that is to use reactions of your characters. My buddy, my mentor, Darren LaCroix, says that reactions tell the stories. For instance, I can tell you a story about a character who's called into her boss's office and is told she's getting a $25,000 bonus. And I could say she was stunned and then so excited. It was unexpected. All right, it's okay. What about this? Sarah was called into her boss's office. He said, please sit down, Sarah. I've got some news. Yeah? Is everything okay? Well, you tell me. We're going to give you a $25,000 bonus based on your production last quarter. What? $25,000? Oh my God! That... I, I didn't... I, I didn't expect this. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh my gosh, I, I've been looking at new cars. Feel the difference? I know you could see the difference. Could you feel the difference? Are you right there with Sarah versus me just explaining, oh, she was happy or she was stunned and then she got excited? Big difference. Let the reaction tell the story. Sometimes you don't even need the words. If you've got words, use them after the reaction. In the next tip, you're going to hear about the importance of consistency between reactions and the words that are spoken. Talk with you then.